Hello everyone and welcome back to All Mods 9. We are back and we have some work to do. Uh, so the last episode we, uh, oh, what did we do? Oh, we did upgrades. Upgrades, people, upgrades. I'm looking at the title. Uh, very creative, I know. Uh, we did a few things, right? So for one, we upgraded our crafters. We've now got diamond tiered crafters. These guys are, I believe, 25 times faster than your average crafter. So that's pretty good. I'm sure that will pay off in the long run. Um, we added some extra requesters to, you know, have some stuff auto crafted that we, you know, occasionally use or, or somewhat frequently use. Um, and then there was just a little bits and little bobs here, here and there. You know what I mean? Um, the, the little bobs aren't your uncle. Don't worry. Just different little doodads and stuff. Um, now, one thing that I tried to do, I, I don't think it was last episode, but you know, it's, it's been happening, was to get this enchantment library stacked to the brim with enchants, right? Currently, our best bet was this guy. We've got an enchantment factory. Once he fills up with 32 buckets of fluid XP, he enchants the book with a bunch of enchants, um, in theory, and then they get dumped in here, courtesy of our little automation there. Cool, but not, not cool. We need, once again, to do some upgrades. Now, um, my, my whole plan for this episode isn't to mess around with enchanting. I actually, it might end up being, I, I won't lie to you guys, but it wasn't my initial plan. <laughs> my plan is to do some more great tech. I know, scary, but we need to upgrade um, our ore processing. We got to put some work in. We got to put the man hours in and we got to get some, we got to get some rewards. <laughs> uh, but you know, you guys came through and we've got some helpful tips here to uh, try and uh, try and catch up and, and even the playing field. So I've, you guys seem to like it last episode. So I've done it again. We've got a clipboard here from create, which I already just love. Got the, we did that last episode. Um, and I've gone ahead in the comments of the last video, uh, posted some things that I think I could make uh, use of, and obviously everyone's username. So it's nice and happy. Everyone's everyone's doing some good things. So th there's actually quite a few things we need to upgrade here. One is going to be the armory cabinet, um, as well as the enchantment extractor. So thank you to Ryan uh, for suggesting both of those, as well as Wintercourse and Drakenden. Um, sometimes, sometimes they'll be like, 10 of you guys suggesting thing. It's like, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I'll do it. I'll do it. I swear. Um, so we're going to. Enchantment extractor. I'll order the guy. He'll... Oh, he's missing... Hmm. He's missing some ancient debris. That's actually a little bit annoying. I, I'm also kind of surprised we're missing... Oh, actually, no. It, it does make sense. Um, another thing we did last episode, <laughs> if you follow me real quick, is we upgraded the power on this guy over here, on our builder. So this guy's currently... Able to clear all of the blocks, not just the ores, which is, as you can see, what he was previously doing. So, I guess he got up to there previously, right? You can see, obviously, the ore's been taken out. So, once we get to this area, we should start getting ancient debris and stuff. But he's, I mean, he's trying to catch up. He's got a little bit of work to do by the looks of things. Um, Yeah, as you can see, there's clearly a little bit more to go. But, as you can, you might be able to squint and see down there. He's fast. He's fast. Now, um, that follows into something else that we can do this episode. There's lots of little things we can do, and they'll all pay off in the in the long term. So this is our builder. Actually, I already did it. Um, and for whatever reason, he's limited by power input on the sides, or at least he was from my experience. I could have been doing something wrong. Uh, but I chucked a nitro ender gate on him, and he still was only getting like 5,000 um, RF per tick. So I've gone ahead and we have an ender cell here. It's able to spit out a bunch of stuff. We put in a netherite upgrade so this guy can now move 100,000 RF per tick. And then we just connected it to all sides of an entangled block. And as you can see by the power, he's good. He can keep up with it. Now this guy as well is 100% infused. He's good. He's good to go. He's, he's done his job. He's done his, yeah, he's good to go. So we just got to wait. Um, we shouldn't have to wait too long, but we, we do have to wait at least for now. So the ancient debris... It's it's on its way, okay? It's not here yet, which means I can't do the enchantment extractor yet. But it's getting there. It's getting there. So, I hear you say, what was the point of that? What are we doing? <laughs> well, I mean, there's a few things we can do, right? We'll do the armory cabinet. They both play into one another. Assuming it's in this. I, I imagine it is. Yeah, here we go. Armory cabinet. So, this guy is particularly good for armory stuff. So, tools, weapons, armor, all that sort of stuff. Um, he's pretty good at I'm also going to just make a recipe for drawers because I feel like we use them a lot. You know what I mean? So we may as well um, add that to the list. It's full. <laughs> okay, we may as well grab out a pre-made... Oh, do we not have a pre-made diamond crafter? I swear I requested one. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I think I said I could make one at the time. Like if I needed to. 
I changed my mind. That was a horrible idea. I don't know who suggested it. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, not who suggested it. I don't know who let me get away with that. But um, it's. I mean, it's fine. We should. Do I need to order one? Diamond crafter, please. <laughs> please, just one. Please, I just want to craft out of diamonds. Um, beautiful, oh, lovely. Okay, <laughs> just bear, bear with me while I talk to myself for a bit. Uh, boom. Yeah, oak drawer. Cool, cool. So, I can search armory cabinet. Um, and we can go ahead and make this guy. <laughs> Alright, armory cabinet. So, what we're going to have to do oh, is lower our jetpack. Um, that's pretty low. There we go. 40% seems to be pretty good. Um, and we're going to have to do some... Yeah, we're going to have to do some filtering here. And it's, it is going to get messy. And I don't really know what the play is entirely, but... Stuff's gonna have to happen. So the first thing I'm gonna do is we're going to have every tool and armor extracted from this guy. That's that's plan number one. Have all that stuff taken out and placed into an armory cabinet. This guy should just hold all of that junk. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, oh, I didn't mean to put that away. We're gonna get this guy as well as a pipe upgrade. So we'll grab him. We'll order just a diamond one. I don't think we need to push it to netherite. Um, we I, I need to sort out netherite at some point as well, but. It's fine. Everything's fine. So pipe. Um, obviously, disconnect this guy. Open up this guy. And here we go. So currently, he will attempt to put everything in there. And as you can see, it's not working. Nothing's going in there. Now, that's a... Oh. I take that back. As you can see, stuff did go in there. The only problem is, if I hold shift, I can't actually see what's in this guy. Which is a little bit surprising. If you right-click him, there's no interface. It's just... It's stored there. You just have to trust me. Oh, there we go. It finally updated. Um, so as you can see, we've got all the stuff in this. So we've got some backpacks. We've got obviously tools and stuff. Even those like weapon scrolls. They're all going to go in there. Every single one. Oh yeah. And uh, so, <laughs> someone, somebody let me know that that was in there. Who who was that? Where are you? Um, Alteron. Thank you. <laughs> all right. So we've got our pipe upgrade. We've got a spare. But yeah, as you can see, every time one of those things are made, it's just going to get chucked into this. Now, the important thing to note is this. Some of the things are enchanted. So that's where we're going to be making our money. Um, we're going to be disenchanting stuff. We could probably even salvage stuff if we really wanted to. But um, yeah, it. I mean, it should be good. So, yeah, do we... <laughs> have I sold long enough? Do we have ancient debris? No. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Fortune 3. What was that for? I don't remember, but we'll put it away. <laughs> um... But yeah, that's going to be the plan. I'm going to extract from that, and we're going to pipe that into the uh, enchantment library as well. So I, I, I guess we'll get to that once we get some ancient debris, but I, I can't really do anything until that happens. I wish I could, like, pin the knowledge of ancient debris, but I guess that would be a storage monitor. I suppose it's doable. Um, okay, so... Uh, what's the plan, then? Great question. So I think I'm going to start on the Greg Tech stuff a bit more. So currently, um, our little system, it works. It's quite nice. I, I do like it. Um, we have ores coming from our uh, quarry chest. The coal is going into these guys to provide steam. And the resource, in this case iron, is getting processed. It gets, cr it gets crushed. The crushed stuff gets uh, processed again. And we get ingots. Yay! <laughs> And so that's it. And then we've got some forge hammers that we can use manually, as well as an alloy smelter that we can use manually. But mainly, yeah, those machines run there. It is also quite loud. I do apologize. I don't really know. Well, I guess I could go in here and I could search Greg. Nope. Can I not? Hmm. Are these not? Are these like vanilla sounds that it's somehow using? And it's not actually using Greg Tech stuff? Surely it's using Greg Tech. Oh! GTC is Greg Tech. So we can mute these if we wanted to. I don't mind a little bit. Just a little bit. So you know they're running. Um, so yeah, we, uh, we're going to upgrade these guys. That's the plan. Um, so currently they are low pressure steam furnaces. Now, I'm not too familiar with Greg Tech. Um, I believe there's going to be a Greg Tech quest line in the future. So I, I think actually in a very, very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A soon to happen update, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. There'll be a Greg Tech quest, which is going to help me immensely. But we're still going to have a crack at it, I think. Because if we search Steam Macerator, for example, there's a high pressure one. And then there's also a Steam Grinder. 
which is a multi-block, which sounds cool. And it uses a low pressure mace reader, whereas this high pressure one's just an upgrade. Huh. Do we have all that stuff? Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. But all of this stuff's low pressure. So I think we have to upgrade the full system. I don't know how easy that will be to, to do, but I guess we'll just do it. So we'll start off with low pressure steam boilers, I guess. Eh. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm trying to decide. Is that everything fine there? I think everything's fine. All right, I'm going to pick these up. Uh, we'll turn on our magnet, make sure that goes on. Um, we'll press U on them. And we'll go ahead and... Oh. Um, oh. No, I, I guess I guess that one doesn't use it. High pressure steam solid boiler is what we want. Oh, so it's just a completely new recipe. Cool. I'm sure we can make that happen. Um, so steel plates are needed. These obviously need steel and... You know, hammer, for example. Um, steel is interesting because I thought we had steel. We've got dark steel craftable, but we don't have steel steel craftable. Um, steel to get it. There's obviously a few ways. There's a blast furnace. This guy will just rip steel out of iron, which is... Honestly, it looks pretty good. Yeah. Oh, and it'll just turn iron to steel. And it uses fuel, I'm guessing. 64 seconds that will take. Is that, I mean, I guess it's a minute. A minute for a steal. But not bad, because it's like long-term. You know what I mean? Alternatively... Oh! I can just smelt iron on a bulk blast. That's phenomenally easy. Um, we've got this guy over here. Did we end up... Do we have like an actual bulk smelter? We don't, do we? I, I think I just always just use that one over there. Shall we? I, you know what? I reckon we shall because it's, once again, it's better to just have these things automated because once again, it'll, it'll just benefit us in the long run. Um, cool. All right. Well, I've got a job to do. <laughs> I need an encased fan. Oh, I haven't, uh, I can't, okay. At least we had some of the stuff. I was going to say, I've got nothing. I, th I swear as well. Didn't we have a bundle that had create stuff in it? What do you have in you? Not you. Okay. Check my backpack. It might exist, but I'm not sure where that is. Oh, also, um, I just realized this guy's beef. He needs to be upgraded to steak. That's my new... That, that's been there for a long time. Um, that's, uh, everything's fine. I just need to remember what we're doing. All right. So we're grabbing this. <laughs> boom, boom. Essentially, I'm making what we've already made in the past. I'm just making a fan and stuff, so I'll be back. All righty. Water will exist, fan is blowing, um, lava will exist and fall directly down, hopefully. Ah! Okay, I forgot about that. <laughs> um, we will get a depot. Oh, I've been screaming a lot lately. <laughs> um, you're not meant to happen like that. Ah. Oh. Um, I mean, that's fine. That's not the end of the world that that happened. It's just sort of a little bit inconvenient, I guess. Um, what do we do there? We flew it. We flew it? Yeah, we flew it into a corner. Okay. Interesting. I'm trying to like, I'm in my head. I'm like, how does this work? How do we do this? How does this happen? I think. Hmm. <laughs> I think I just do this, right? Oh, actually, better. Oh my god, infinite idea. We get a stair, just a good old-fashioned brick stair. We place it here and we lava log it. Okay, you can't lava log things. Well, if you could lava log things, that would uh. That would do it. Oh, I keep... I need to learn not to do that. <laughs> Alright, can I... Oh my god. My brain is slowly catching up. We're getting there. I just need a depot real quick. Depot so we can stop burning. I can also just jump in that water right there, but I'm not... I'm not thinking. Okay, cool. That is now a bulk smelter. Awesome. We're gonna grab a crafter. We just need a normal one. It doesn't need to be a super fancy one. Um, and this guy... Oh, yeah, I guess the automations on the other stuff were, were different. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll leave him as he is. Uh, we will... I'm going to place it underneath. There. So he's lit up. You can see he's blue. And so we can put our bulk patterns in there. And that should be fine. So for example, I should be able to do iron, a stack of iron into a stack of steel. Which is pretty ridiculous sounding, but apparently... 
Apparently it'll do it. Let's go ahead and uh, JEI sync that. Steel, there we go. Steel here, left click, make it into a stack. Apparently that'll work. We'll give that a shot. So we'll go in here again. Steel, I'd like to order one. It's gonna have to order a stack at a time. There it is. You can see it is smoking, so it is smelting it. The interesting thing is that there is, like I think we have the Tech Reborn stuff, don't we, or do we not? Um, or the IC2, do we have any of that stuff? Um, what would be a good thing, Mace Raider? No, we don't. Okay, so yeah, the only thing that iron smelts into is, is steel, I guess. Cool. All right, we will need an importer and we will need a stack upgrade for that guy. Luckily, we have all of those things on quick command. Um, we'll break this, turn that into an importer, give him a stack upgrade. I don't think that will remove the... Okay, no, it did remove the stuff. Um, <laughs> that's fine. We'll just, we'll just have to... Uh... Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. I'll just blacklist iron from it. I was trying to think if there's a smarter way to do it. There probably is, but it's fine. Um, cool. Okay, so when that's done, allegedly, we will get steel. And obviously, we've got the stack upgrade, so it'll just pop, instantly do it. And that sounds awesome. Um, okay, so... Then we can continue making the stuff, right? What else do we need? We're going to need bricks. Let me make as much as it lets me. Awesome. I'm going to then grab out some clay. Um, and we're going to smelt this in there. There we go. That should get us bricks to potentially make more. But I think that's enough what we've got anyway. Um, and it needs a wrench. We do have a We have a bronze wrench. I'm going to guess that we can make that work. It's possible we can't, but we'll try um, and we will be using that hammer, which I believe we do have. Not, we don't. We'll make one though. They're, pre they're pretty cheap. Nice and easy hammers. I think that's the one we need. We might need a different hammer in hindsight, but ah, we'll, we'll see. All right. Does this steel recipe actually work? It's disappeared. So either it doesn't exist or it does. <gasps> it does. Cool. So I can just, yeah, get a bunch of steel plates. I mean, that's pretty cool. All right. I'm going to order two more stacks. Why not? Um, and we will go ahead and make our stuff and our things. So I'm going to go ahead and grab wrench. Boom, boom. High pressure steam boiler. We will get two of these guys. And let's go start doing our upgrades uh, down below. Oh, server saved. Threw me back half a mile. <laughs> okay. So next up is going to be the macerators. Um, so the steam solid boilers. If I can stop that. Going to be replaced with, yeah, steam macerator. So, um, magnet on. Cool. Upgrade this guy into high pressure. There we go. I won't place him down just yet. <laughs> and then the final thing is the steam furnace. Um, I guess, yeah, I've got it on me. I keep forgetting. Um, and this guy will also be upgraded. He's going to need some stuff. Ugh. Like tin alloy, for example. And I think we can use a Greg Tech hammer. Um, tin alloy, I'm gonna... Uh, I was gonna get a bunch, but... I guess I don't need to. Um, what exactly do we need here? I need... Tin plates, wrought iron plates. The tin things need... Yeah. Hammer and the plates. Okay, cool. So, hammer... Um, the plates... Yep. And then just a wrench. And that's going to be those. Cool. I'll we'll craft the stack. Why not? I'll hold onto these because I imagine we'll need them again. And raw iron plates are just going to need the hammer. Um, we only need a few of those. I think that's actually plenty. And we should have, ta-da, high pressure steam furnace. So we have everything. We now just need to see if that actually works. As in if we can get away with slapping these together. So that goes there. That guy goes there. And that guy goes there. Cool. You get coal, but you're not meant to get coal. That's fine. You're going to get iron instead. Sure. You are going to receive the leftover little bits. Cool. Um, this guy will be extracting. This guy will be extracting. This guy will be inserting. That's fine. These guys should get coal. And they have coal. They're just now filling up with water. And then I guess they will properly begin working. Maybe. I wonder if they need enough water or if something else has to go in here. I'm not too sure at the moment. Although looking at it, I mean, there's some seconds processing. So something is happening. There is, there is something happening. It's just, I guess, a little bit slow. Okay. 
Um, and this guy will be extracting steam from the bottom. You see how that works? And then everything else is good. Oh, these might blow up. Low pressure steam alloy smelter. Yeah, we'll upgrade him. We'll see. Low pressure steam alloy. What do I need? I need five wrought iron. Okay. How do you get raw iron? Because I just realized we need, we need more of that. <laughs> yeah, we, we need more of that. Alloy smelter makes... Oh, out of wrought. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> um, Compress. No. Okay. Hold on. Yep. Do I just need the, the dust? What's that? Raw iron into dust? Packer? Macerator? Huh? <laughs> what's the what's the trick here? What am I missing? I've made the stuff before. We, we can make it. The technology exists. It's just a matter of how. <laughs> Unless you make the nuggets, that doesn't make sense. We could arc furnace some of this stuff, but I think this guy's, yeah, he needs electricity. Um, blast furnace. Hmm. I, I have no idea. I have no idea how we got wrought iron. How do we get wrought iron? Was it the nuggets? Maybe there's just a way to make nuggets. Hmm. Oh, iron nuggets. That works. Cool, cool, cool. So I can grab a stack, for example. Um, oh, if it'll let me. I can chuck that in our bag. And we'll have wrought iron nuggets. Yay. All right, this guy's actually getting uh, steam now. Potentially. Allegedly. Uh, he will also need to be wrenched again, I think. So if we grab the wrench out, I think I need to tell this guy something. I think I need to spin him. And then, yeah. So I need to spin him with a shift right click. And then a double right click does something. Shift right click. No, that doesn't make sense. Oh yeah, it, it finally updated. It's just a bit slow. So double right click the side that you want, I guess. Sure. And then it will update. And it has a spot for it to uh, vent, I guess. Um, cool. Okay. You know, assume these are working and they're just, you know, heating up. That's the only problem. Well, I guess they're turning into steam already. This guy's almost ready. Okay. Well, um, you'll have to just wait, I guess, until it gets hot enough to actually see if this has benefited us. This guy isn't blowing up, so maybe I can just keep this guy here. Whatever. We'll see. Um, cool. Okay. Um, here's the thing. I want this to somehow be fast enough that we're good. You know what I mean? That I don't have to worry about, um, ores and stuff. I don't think that's doable, which means we've got to do something else here. And I know exactly what that is. Um, we're going to go ahead and hook this guy up, um, to the top. Um, this guy, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to pick him up. Boom, boom, uh, boom. Set this guy to extract and chuck in the pipe upgrade. He's got all this other stuff. They don't actually matter. We're going to remove those. All he needs is coal to go in there. And I'm happy. The next thing I'm going to do is we're going to have to provide this guy with stuff through, through a different uh, source, essentially. So, probably a wireless network. So, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll search network, grab one of each of these, and hook them up. Um, so, the receiver... Um, I don't really know where... Because it's a symmetrical room, isn't it? Ah, uh, who, who designed this thing? <laughs> a, a maniac is, is the only explanation. All right, whatever. Um, I'm going to have the receiver be here. Sure. Whatever. Ah, it's a horrible spot to put it. Ah, it's fine. She'll live. Um, shift right click and we'll go hook up the transmitter. So my idea is that we're going to... Um, sorry, I'm... Oh, what's happening? Do I, I turned hover off. That's the problem. I was like, why does everything just feel bad? Transmitter. Boom. Uh, we're going to set that up with the crafter. So that it will only order what it needs. It's going to be a diamond crafter. Arguably a netherite one, but it's a little bit too expensive for us at the moment. Um, and that's, yeah, that's pretty much the plan. Then we'll have our requester. We'll have another requester set up with like, you know, 1,000 of each resource. And so this guy will work to get a 1,000 of each resource um, processed. And that sounds pretty good. Uh, I think we can work with that. So you're going to go there. I'm then going to have an importer at the back here. Got plenty of cables. Um, importer. 
I think I will make um, covers and just run this stuff back into this guy. You know what I mean? So I, th I think that's what I'll do. So um, I think it's just iron nuggets and this stuff to make covers. Yeah, pre it's pretty. It's pretty cool. I do like this stuff. Boom, boom, boom. So the cover will go there, and the cable will go there, and then it looks cool. Um, these will all be cables, so obviously they'll need to be hooked up. This guy will need to be hooked up in a second. Hollow cover on top, and import it on front. Beautiful. And then these are just good old fashioned covers. That works, <laughs> or at least we're pretending that it works. Cool. Um, this guy probably needs a stack upgrade at the moment. I doubt he will in the future, but we'll chuck a stack upgrade in there at least. You can start mowing through that stuff. Cool. And so what's the deal? How, how are we? This is about halfway heated, I guess. This guy's pretty much full of steam, so this is a pretty good guess at how fast it's going to be going. It looks to be about 20 seconds a process. I don't remember what the last one was. Um, but this one's 20 seconds. Ah, Mesa Raider. The electric ones sound good. <laughs> the problem is I need to make all this stuff. You know? Oh, you know what? While we're here, ancient debris? No, okay. That's fine. Well, <laughs> I was hopeful. Um, yeah, so basic Mesa Raider. Let's... Oh, God. I didn't even mean to go there. I'm going to... I'm going to have to go through. I'm going to make patterns, I think, for every single thing. And we'll we'll back build this um, electric macerator. How does that sound? And, and then I think that's sort of us in it. I think once you get electricity running, that's sort of... You've begun. There's obviously low voltage, medium voltage, high voltage, EV, IV, LUV, ZPM, UV. <laughs> There's... Look... There's a lot, but we're just going to start basic. So this guy, we are attempting to craft. Cool. Nice. We've, we've begun. Welcome to the party. Next up, we will need... Let me go ahead and remove these. We will need LV electric piston, LV electric motor, tin cable, LV machine hull. You just need imagination to use this. Cool. <laughs> Base electronic circuit. That's all we need. Okay. So this piston, none of this stuff we have automated, which is fine. Some of this stuff... We've been doing manually, like the steel stuff. So from this, we will need a way to get steel plates automated, steel rods, small steel gears, and then that same electric motor. Cool. I, that's fine. We can. I think we can work with that. I don't know why this guy doesn't have a texture there. The base, the basic mace rider. That, it's, it's fine. It's fine. All right. So the piston, we have the recipe for. The mace rider, we have the recipe for. So electric motor is up next. Oh god. <laughs> what is the difference here? Magnetic steel rod, magnetic iron rod. I guess we'll go for iron. Sure. This is the motor. Okay. This guy... <laughs> this guy needs a iron rod, a magnetic iron rod, and copper wire. And then those same tin cables. Okay, cool. And we've got that added. Awesome. So we can remove the motor. <laughs> Next up is tin cables. This is used in a lot of the recipes, so it's a pretty good one to have. Now, for this guy... It looks like there's a few options. We're probably just going to go for auto crafting just because I don't know, but that's what I guess that's what we're going to go for. I'll tell you what, I'll do all the crafting recipes and you guys let me know what machines are worth it. <laughs> Maybe. I, this is such a rabbit hole to jump down. All right, so this guy himself needs tin wire and rubber sheet. Cool. So tin cable is done. Next up, I, I'm literally just going to follow this line. So it's going to be a little bit out of order, but I think, I don't know, there'll be some rhyme to the reason or something. So out of this guy, we have nothing at the moment. Um, but we do have steel plates on the board here. So we're going to go ahead and first grab this recipe. We're going to add wrought iron plates to our list. And then just tin cables, that's easy. And an LV machine casing. Hmm, okay, cool. So that's done. Basic electric circuit. What is this? Man, it's... I, I, I was going to say I like that we keep seeing tin cables at least, but now we're seeing other stuff as well. Is this not what I'm meant to go for? If you look at what they're used in, you can see the list. Low pressure, high pressure, basic. I'm guessing this is the tier list. So we're going the right way, I think. All right. Basic electronic circuit. At least these ones are crafting recipes, right? All right. These need red alloy cables, 
vacuum tubes, resistors, steel plates, that's nice to see, and a resin printed circuit board. <laughs> sure, yeah. Okay. So now we're up to steel plates. Steel plates, they are craftable from a hammer. The problem is that the hammer has durability. And once he starts losing durability, um, refined storage isn't smart enough to know how to use the old tool. I think applied energistics may be able to. So we could make a combination of the two. I had someone suggest that in a previous episode, if we could combine both systems. So like, for example, use, you know, all these crafters for most of the things and then occasionally have like applied energistics for the rest or even applied energy. Oh. Not sure. Not sure. Steel plate. Okay. So alternatively, we could set up a create press. We could set up metal rolling from a rail craft, uh, from rail craft. It says it's a crafting bench though. I don't think this guy's automated. Maybe a pallet one is. Yeah, that would be. That's not, it doesn't look, that doesn't look too, uh, uh, doesn't look that bad. Like that looks doable if we had to, but I, I think we'd do something else probably. Um, at Astra, we could automate compressing this stuff with power. This seems pretty good. Stealing it into steel plate using some electricity. The problem is the compressor, oh, is completely doable. Yeah, hold on. I'm just gonna get me one of these Ad Astra compressor. It might be slow. That that's all I'm thinking, because other than that, it seems pretty good. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'll have to go here, let's grab that hammer out. Boom. Grab some plates. We don't need too many. And that's a compressor. Cool. Um I'm trying to think of whether I mean this guy will probably automate him properly, right? We'll go over to our little automation zone over here. The only problem with this setup is that it's an excuse not to build like a zone. You know what I mean? But I, th I think it's fine for small things. Arguably, the create stuff should have gone somewhere else. I'll, I'll admit to that. All right, so this guy's here. He's going to receive power. Cool. He's it. Oh. Um, he's then going to get a crafter. <laughs> I, I don't know what that was. I, I, I can't explain the sounds that were just made. Or the reaction, I should say. But that's there. That's fine. And then just an importer. And then we're going to pretend that this will work. Because I'll be honest, I kind of don't think it will. Um, we're going to need patterns. Patterns. Thank you. And we're going steel plate. The thing is, I'm not sure if he accepts from the front. That, that, that was the, what I was trying to say before. I don't know if the words came out, but that's what I was thinking. Was I don't know if that works that way. Um, plate. Steel plate. I'm going to order one. Press start. It should go in here. Oh, it did. It's going to process. Um, look, it takes time. But once again, if we set up the requester to always keep like 100, then we probably don't have to worry about it, right? Because I'm not constantly using steel. So, it's, you know, it's not the end of the world if it's slow. Create would probably be the alternative though. Create's pretty fast. But hey, that works. That's steel plates automated. Steel rods are up next. Okay, cool. Once again, more and more um, tools. These all have durability, so they're kind of not the play. Um, smelting up a magnetic rod makes it into a normal rod, but that doesn't really help us. Um, otherwise, you can craft it. Yeah, that's what we were looking at before. <laughs> um, mm. Oddly enough, that seems to be the only way to do it, unless magnetic ones are automated. They are. You can extru extru extrude the stuff. All of these, however, need power. So I guess they force you to do it manually and then you get the you get the power happening. Okay. Um, we might be able to cheese it. It's possible. Um, I know how to do it as well. Shall we do it? <laughs> let's, let's do it. Um, look, in terms of progress for this episode, I don't know what we're going to get done in terms of a finished product. But we're, we're going to try some stuff, right? Because I, I do think we can. So this one's... Oh, that's a long steel rod. Which is... Okay. Oh, a forge hammer. Ah, oh, that uses two. Yeah, okay. Just through it here. All right, all right, cool. Um, What's this thing? A file? That's probably what we'll do then. Steel rod from that. Oh, that's going to need a file of some sort. So if I search file, we've got a bunch here. They obviously have different durabilities. Um, A neutronium... There's a lot. Diamond file. That seems pretty nice. 
Just two diamond plates. Blue aluminium, it looked like. Blue steel. We could just do iron. I was going to see if there was like copper or something, but... Um, I mean, we can do diamond. Uh, I think it's just easier to do iron, isn't it? Yeah, let's just do iron. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to grab a crafter. Specifically, one of these ones. RF Tools Crafters. They're pretty good at what they do. I'll tell you that much. Um, so, we'll grab one of those right off the bat. Ball machine frame. This is one of those ones that would be tempting to automate the crafting of because I think we use them relatively often. You know what I mean? Like, they're not... They're not too far-fetched for us to be using. Um, this guy's going to have a crafter as well as an exporter as well as a crafting card. And that is all. Okay. So, we're going to head down here and we're going to hook this up. You guys are going to like this one. Um, if, you know, if you know how to do this, then I guess it doesn't matter too much. But if you don't, then it's a pretty... It's a good one to learn, uh, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, so... Crafter exists. Um, crafter will be attached to this crafter, like so. He'll need power, so we'll go ahead and grab some sort of gate. Looks like we're moving to nitro. Um, the hardened gates are pretty good. Let's get like 10 of those. I don't know how long that will take, but uh, we'll, we'll get those eventually. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a ore hammer of some sort. No, I was going to do the file, sorry. We're going to get a file, like so. We're going to get our exporter. I'm going to slap this guy here, hook him up with the cable. This guy will have a crafting upgrade. Then what we will do is I will place the iron file here. I will fill the rest with something that we don't need. For example, a bunch of this stuff. And then all I need is, how do you make the thing? Um, a steel ingot. So I'm going to grab a steel ingot. And we're going to place that steel ingot here. I will then click remember. Boom. Now I can take all this. Oh, that didn't really work. <laughs> I'm going to click remember again. It's possible. Oh, there we go. Yeah, cool. Ah. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to. Uh, I'll click remember and maybe we'll let it sit. Maybe it's like a server connection problem that it's being a bit weird. Okay, that looks like it's working. Oh, the look at the UI. It's a little bit bugged out. Okay. But yeah, as you can see, they'll only accept what belongs there. I'm left-clicking. I don't know if you can hear that. I got, can you hear that? Yep. <laughs> and it won't go in there, but it will go in there. You can see where this is going. So, we can add a recipe um, specifically for the steel rod, this one here. And what we'll have to do is we'll remove that. We'll grab our iron file and say, hey, there we go. Do that. We can apply it. So, it's a recipe. And we want to change something. Result of crafting operation will go to output buffer. I believe this means that whatever this has left over will go to the output. That includes the knife, I believe. I could be wrong. If we click this, um, the results will stay in the input. We don't want that. We don't want the steel rod to stay in. X C, I believe is what we want. Result of crafting operation will go to output buffer, but remaining items, so items that aren't used up in the recipe, will stay in the input. So the iron file should stay in there. Now, I don't know if the remember thing cares about NBT. I don't think it does. So this should work. And so we click apply. That guy should be good. So I've got a, like a tickle in my throat. So if you hear something, I apologize. I'm like holding back like a hairball. <laughs> um, all right, we'll slap this guy here. So as you can see, he made the, the steel rod and that guy goes there. So then, ha, 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 ha. Iron file added to the exporter with the crafting card. All I need to do now is add the uh, iron file as a craftable thing. And then we're good. So iron file, there we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, on the topic of that, we don't have, we don't have iron plates auto crafted. So we'll add this recipe. Ah, you know what? Do we want to add the crafter recipe? Cause it's going to be so much faster. I think we do. I think we, do. I think we do. I think we do want to do that. And we'll probably use the, I mean, we could just use an ore hammer. What do you reckon? I like the one to one. That's what I like about this guy. The problem is you're investing a lot of iron to, to do it. So I don't know if it's worth it. I think it is. So I'm going to stick with it. And I guess we'll, we'll find out if it's not. Let's see if, uh, when to breaks the server this time. <laughs> 
Last time the entire server like uh, went kaput. Right, we'll grab that. I'm gonna have to add the recipe for this as well. So the two tools there, the processing recipe there, and then I'll alter the steel recipe um, that we already have. So you and you go there, cool. We'll, uh, and we, we can add it to the crafter. The crafter allows, I think, at least two recipes. So that should be fine. Um, I need to alter this guy to pretty much not work anymore. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Um, slap him there. Steel plate. We would instead like to do this recipe here. Thank you. So we'll grab that. Go ahead and put this guy in here. Uh, both of these in here. And the way that will work is I will have to change some stuff, which is a little bit unfortunate because we obviously had this going. So let's go steel, grab that. Let's grab iron because I'll need a spot for iron. Um, and I think that's it at the moment. Yeah, it should be fine. So first off, redstone on to activate so he doesn't do anything. Um, the steel can still go there. Can I shift click? Okay, I can shift click to remove it. So I add that instead. Oh, we already tried to make an iron thing. I'm gonna click remember again, and that should work. So as long as you don't shift click, all is good. Oh, okay, well, we've got some spare. <laughs> we've got some spare ones. So this should work. Uh, the, oh, I, I like, no, sorry, I'll need a new crafter. We need to upgrade that guy to allow for more, um, which is doable. I wonder if you'll keep the recipes. RF tools is, it's pretty smart. Uh, I'll, I'll admit it, it is a pretty smart mod. For example, I think it's holding the stuff. Like, I don't think I dropped it. So I think it, when I do this upgrade, it will actually contain the stuff, maybe. Let's see. Did it do it? Oh, it did, cool. Boom, boom, boom. So yeah, we've got all the stuff. We've got extra recipe slots, beautiful. So for example, the iron plate recipe, we'll go there. Um, and all of these we wanna do, um, X to C. I'm gonna have to add the hammer in as well. So let's shift click this. Um, and oh, uh, 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 do that. Bookmark this. Apply that. Drag in. No, I can't do that. Okay. I think I think I need the actual hammer. That's fine. That's fine. We've got one. Boom, boom, and boom. <laughs> Get that file out of there. Come on, man. They're stubborn. I'll, I'll give them. I'll give them that. All right, so yeah, that will go to the extract, perfect. And we want to do the same with the steel plate. Um, so this recipe here, X to C, apply. He's there too. Beautiful. Um, speed mode is currently on slow. We can put that to fast because why not? Oh, we will have a problem though. Steel rods and steel plates use the same ingredient. That it won't be able to determine what's what. I mean, I need to do a, separate, a second crafter. That's my bad, guys. I completely slipped my mind. That, that does make sense, though. Okay. Um, luckily, why can't I place you here? Oh, because you're a machine frame. That would do it. <laughs> I was like, where, where, where's our diamond? Um, all right, crafter. Boom, boom, boom. Grab the diamond one again. Place him there. Exporter, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crafting card, beautiful. All right, this will be good. This will be good. I'm, I'm glad we're doing this. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a worthy investment. All right, you're gonna go there. You'll get a crafting card. Um, I wish. Is there a way to grab this and take it with me? Hmm. I mean, I could just replace the steel rod recipe, right? Let's just um. Clear that, click apply. Um, take this guy out. Remove this. Um, leave it as it is. That should work fine as, as it is, I think. Um, that's got the plate recipes, cool. So this guy will have the other thing. He'll have this guy as well as a bunch of steel. And yeah, okay. <laughs> I th I th everything's working. Everything's okay. I'll, I'll be back. I'm just gonna pretty much do what you saw me do before. All right, add the hammer, add the file. I believe we are now good to go. Oh, I do need the importer. Ah, there's always a, there's always another, another catch. And stack upgrade. I will want another one. I think it will auto craft, but man, whatever. Uh, and these guys, you have to go there. 
Just because the way that we set this guy up. Cool. Stack upgrade. On his way, I guess. We'll go there. We'll get the other one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, this guy's good to go. We're ready to do those that ordering now. So, steel rod, done. Iron rod, we can do as well. That's easy. We just need to make the pattern for it. And that should actually be done. So, iron rod will just be this recipe here. Cool. Um, no. No, you don't need to put the rod in. Sorry, that's my... I mean, you're probably going to have to fix all these other patterns as well. What if I... Oh, my God. Hold on. Oh, God. All the patterns. Yeah, yeah. They're all broken. Yeah, okay. Hold on. <laughs> uh, yeah, we need to craft our own patterns. Like, this isn't what we're doing. We are doing... Um, iron ingot equals iron plate. Believe it or not. That's what we're doing. And we're just putting it in the correct machine. That's the, that's the only difference there. So, we'll do this. And try to do the same for steel. All right, I've added the recipes. So, doo -doo 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 -doo. this guy gets the plates, and this guy gets the rods, and then the only other thing left to do is place an iron ingot in one of these spots. So, like there, for example, and click remember. Cool. And that should have already worked. Oh, I need to add the recipe for the iron rod. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Boom. Boom, boom. Okay. Phenomenal progress, to say the least. He's going to craft a new one. That's fine. Whatever. No no harm done there. Just some backup ones. Boom, boom. Eh? 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 No? <laughs> uh, hello? Hello? Ah, oh, there we go. Cool. All right. I just wanted to make sure that it did indeed work. The extracting of the rod... Did happen as well. Beautiful. Okay. Wonderful. Iron rod done. Iron plate done. Files done. Crafters, compressors, that stuff's done. Cool. Beautiful. <laughs> How are you guys feeling? Was that already exhausting? Are we going to get this thing done? This one machine done today? We're already at 50 minutes, <laughs> which is pretty ridiculous. Uh, we'll see. Okay. Jump back in. We've got plenty of patterns. Small steel gear. This is what we're up to. Um... There's some things that can do it, but you'd have to make them. And I think I think we're laying down the foundation to be able to make this stuff in the future, maybe. But I'm going to go for this recipe, which, you know, it's going to literally be the exact same thing we just did before. <sighs> All right, steel rod, steel plate. Um, iron wire cutter, iron hammer. Cool. So it'll be a processing recipe with one steel plate and I believe two steel rods. And that will give us a small steel gear. That is the recipe. We also will need iron cutter. What? Okay. Well, we need these. This looks horrible. <sighs> Whose idea was this? <laughs> okay, sure. We'll make it. Yeah, cool. All right. I Hold on. Iron screwdriver. We'll do that one instead of that guy. And iron hammer. We'll do that guy instead of that guy. Cool. Now, Blood Moon will be gone soon. Don't you worry. Okay. By the way, let's just also get these patterns in there just to get them out of my inventory because they are painful to look at. All right. Cool. First crafting recipe. From this guy, we're going to need iron screwdrivers automated, iron hammers automated. I think I just undid them. Um, and an iron screw automated. Cool. I mean, all of these are going to have to be done in a crafter, aren't they? Oh my god, because they all use tools. All of them use tools. Why does everything use tools? <laughs> I guess because you're meant to go away from it. Like, you're meant to push towards, like, you know, steel ingots in a pressure alloy smelter with a casting mold. We could do that. That's doable. Should we just do this? We make a mold, we mold it, and then we just automate um, the alley smelter that we have downstairs. Surely, I mean, that's that's better than, than whatever this wire cutter business is, right? We can, we can put the recipe in there, maybe, but uh, I don't even want to. <laughs> yeah, I, I like this idea. We're just gonna do this. Boom. 
Um, we will obviously need to make this. I think, I don't think it will use it. I think it'll just place it in and craft with it. Um, so we'll just make one of those manually, I think. I think that's the way to do it. Casting mold, small gear. Needs an empty mold, which needs a hammer of some sort. I think we've got some hammers. I assume it's going to let us do it. Let me just, oh, close and open it. Let's see if we can grab that guy out. Empty mold. And oh, I think it's a shaped recipe. Casting mold, small gear. I will take. Um, as for this pattern, I think we're actually going to remove that. Yeah, we're just going to do two steel for it. This recipe here, yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, oh god, I, I am, I am thinking about how this episode will end. I don't think it can. <laughs> what have we like? What's the what have we done? What's the title? What's what's the happened? What's this isn't even where I wanted to go. Okay, so. This is our alloy smelter. Cool. I'm going to entangle him and set him up somewhere else. <laughs> okay. God. <laughs> what an experience. Okay. So this guy will go here. He will get a crafter. This one can just be a normal guy. That shouldn't be a problem. He's going to be entangled. Cool. He's going to get this recipe there. Um, and then just an importer, I think. Once again, not sure if there's any specific sides that need to be configured, but that's how he will work as of right now. Um, and we'll just go ahead and put that mold in there because I kind of forgot to do that. Under the C. I think I saw, <laughs> wait, I saw someone actually refer to it in the comments as under the C and I, I found that really funny. <laughs> Who did that? Where was it? You're getting called out. I need to find this. Where is it? It was one about the Greg Tech. I don't, maybe I, did I make it up? I didn't make it up. Oh yeah, here we go. Um, Alteran. <laughs> and for all processing, I think mirroring your under the sea contraption <laughs> two or three times. Uh, so it's funny. <laughs> I like it. I like it. All right. The mold will go there, I believe. Okay. Is this one time use? No way. Missing two steel. I think, let's just, can I use this, maybe? Does it have to be the other steel? That'd be crazy. No, okay. And it didn't use the mold up. Cool. All right, so I just need to edit that recipe. I don't want to go to the, oh my God. Let me, hold on. I was meant to fix this before. Let's just send this guy. I wish you could send it up and it would send it to the back. You know what I mean? All right, cool. We're close. I mean, this is, a, it's great foundation work, okay? It's, it's also a nice experience to sort of know what what's on its way in terms of the whole, well, experience. Yeah, so not that steel, not the Ad Astra steel. I, you could click alternatives, in which case you can scroll down and you can just click on steel like this. This filter here will have all these steels. I can click apply, set, and it should, when I update that, allow for all those steel ingots to work. And we can show that off because obviously before it wouldn't let us craft it. And now, it'll say, yeah, I've got steel. There you go. And he'll craft it. Small steel gear. Boom. Done. We don't need that. 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 Excellent. Progress, everybody. Are you guys happy? Next up, magnetic uh, rod. Easiest recipe ever. Just a little bit of redstone. Be my guest. Be my guest. Make yourself at home. Have a great time. Done. Next. Copper wire. Hmm. Two copper wire could equal two one copper wires. <laughs> awesome. Love it. Um, once again, extruders and stuff we can't afford. Or, I mean, like, we're getting there. Wire cutter. Ugh, but we just looked at the wire cutter recipe and it looked horrible. Ugh. Look at it. <sighs> can I just cry instead? What about two times? Is that doable? Can I just get some two times real quick? Oh, so from four times. Easy. And then I just craft the four times. Oh, you get that from eight times? Easy. I'll just craft... Uh, oh, 16... Yeah, I'll just do that. No? Okay. Yeah, so I need wire cutters. Or an extruder. Bleh. Okay. 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 
Um, so yeah, that whole auto crafting I just got to avoid with the gear thing. I now need to actually do it for real this time. <laughs> wire cutters. Okay. Iron wire cutters. Let's try this again. Boom, boom, boom. So from this, we need the iron screwdriver, iron screw, etc., etc. Some of these, uh, I mean, all, yeah, sorry, I forgot. This guy's not actually going to be this, is he? No, no, he's not. Hold on. Iron hammer. Because these are going to be processing recipes to craft this because it's going to use up. Uh, you know what? It might actually one time use the tool. I don't think it will. Yeah, I think this one can actually stay as it is. I will have to replace that with an iron one. But I think this will one time use the tools as opposed to just take a bit of the durability away. Because I think we're transforming it into a completely new thing. Okay? We're okay? Yeah, nice. Whereas the iron screw that we saw from earlier, this guy is a recipe. <laughs> so yeah, he'll need to be done the good old fashioned way. Iron bolts, bookmarked. Uh, and what's that? A file. So I'm going to go processing. We're going to search file. We're going to have iron fight. No, sorry. I'm just going to have bolts. Hold on. Bolt times two equals screw. Yeah. And I'm going to create that as a recipe. And while I'm thinking about it, we'll go ahead and add that where it needs to be. So this is going, what? With a saw? I swear it wasn't a saw before. <laughs> was it always a saw? I mean, I guess. I guess it had to have been. Ah, oh, I didn't have a saw set up. My God. Okay. Um, this recipe will use a rod, so it can go in these pre-existing ones. So, uh, for example, this one that has multiple spots, I can allegedly place him in here. Cool. Um, oh, that guy uses the file, but the actual thing needs... Oh my god. Why have they done this to me? God, what am... Okay. <laughs> oh my god. We're at an hour. The thing is, like, we have... Oh, yeah, uh, steel bolts. Copper... I'm just trying to see, like... Are we close? Like, can I smash this out this episode? There's going to be so much um, of these crafters needed. <sighs> and then we need, like, sticky resin. Oh, I smelt it. Okay. Okay, that, that's doable. Resin circuit, wood plates, compressor with some wood dust. From a macerator with some wood. <laughs> okay. Tin wire. Once we get the wire cutters, the wires are taken care of. The rubber sheet. This is a little bit confusing. We would need a mold. That would be easy. Rubber ingots we would also need. They we would get from various places. You can get them from cables. That's how we'll do it. We'll pull apart rubber cables. Why didn't I think of that? Um, hmm, okay. Rubber pop. I mean, this, this, this is depressing to look at. I, we're going to have to finish it another episode. Like just this rubber looks a bit confusing. Not confused. I mean, it's confusing because like, I can't think right now. Like, you know, falling asleep sort of thing. But it looks like there's a lot of steps to it, is, is what I mean. It looks like we've got a few options. Whether there's something in this extractor that's like an actual recipe that's good, I'm not sure. Otherwise, we're going to be alley smelting sulfur from one of the various sulfur <laughs> mods, uh, which I guess I'll bookmark one of each. There you go. Great tech. Yep. Um, and raw rubber pulp, which we're going to get by extracting resin or rubber trees from gray tech which i think i now to be fair i think i got this one specially delivered so i'm not sure I'll, I'll have to look up where you find them to help you guys out but i believe that, yeah this is greg tech rubber tree courtesy of the arrow pointing down um oh you know what you know what that is greg tech was added to the pack after this world was created so i'm guessing it was going to be a hard to find thing although 
Um, huh. Where's the Greg Tech rubber? Oh, it's just a, it's just an industrial craft rubber tree sapling, but from Greg Tech. Okay. You can uh, get it from Blue Skies, it looks like. Cool. I was going to say maybe the market had it, but clearly, clearly not. This guy, he's got a lot of stuff. Oh, he actually, he doesn't have that much, but okay. Well, anyway, I'm going to end it here. Um, Greg Tech, we're back. <laughs> We're back. Oh god. It's it is good though. We're chipping away at it. We're chipping away. In terms of the other stuff we were gonna do. Oh we've actually we've got ancient debris coming. Okay, so we can we can do the extractor stuff next episode as well. Like we can knock that off. Um I removed the bookmark accidentally. Enchantment extractor. I'll at least order the guy. Have that be cooking away in the background between episodes. Um what else did I do that I didn't do? Enchantment extractor, we're getting there. More Greg Tech processing. <laughs> We're getting there, I guess. Um, and compacting drawers was the other one. Compacting drawers will probably happen after we get the, you know, ore processing automated. That's sort of what I'm thinking would make the most sense. We could benefit from it now already, but I don't know. I think we'll stick with that at the moment. The downside with the drawers as well is I have to build them. Whereas currently everything's just in this disc, which is kind of pretty nice. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. Um, now, let me know if you're if you're enjoying the Greg Tech stuff because as painful as it is, it is fun. I, I do like it because once we have this set up, it's, I think it's going to be extremely satisfying having all the things in motion happen. The one thing I'm worried about though is that it's pointless to do this. It might not be worth the time because I have a feeling that once you make one of the machines... Half of these tools are going to be useless, maybe. I'm not. I'm not too certain on that, but I guess we'll test for this first tier of machines that are electric. Then we'll see for the second tier if we what the benefit is. Whether we can stick with what we've got and just add some more recipes to them, or or yeah, what the deal is. Um, if you have a better way to get to to use these tools, um, in the system, or whether you think I should just maybe make a module for applied energistics to do that crafting. That that almost feels cheesy as well. You know what I mean? Because like, there's a way to work around and do like a little loophole to use this system. And it's kind of fun having that challenge. You know what I mean? Where it's like, okay, I can't just put the recipe in the machine and have it instantly do it. I've got to, you know, hook up a little system. I've got to make sure I've got room for it. I've got to manually make the pattern. It's annoying, I guess, but at least at the start, it's a little bit fun. Maybe in the future, we'll switch over. I'm not sure. But, um, but yeah, thank you guys. Um, the comments are nice as always. Thank you guys. There's been some... I, I, occasionally, I see comments that are... Obviously, that are nice. Um, some of the ones I wanted to call out is... Um, there'll be people, like new viewers to the channel that uh, I don't think have dropped by before or maybe they've dropped by in the past and they're like, oh, I've just started playing the pack or like, oh, I cannot wait to start playing the pack. I... Your video popped up in my recommended, which by the way, cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, we got our video popping up in people's recommendeds. Look at that. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah, I'm something of a YouTuber myself. Um, but they'll say like, oh, you know, I, I haven't played in like five or so years, but I like, I, I, I saw your video and now I want to play. And then it's like, that's awesome. Like that, that's so cool. Cause that, that was literally me watching Diable 20 back in the day. His video pops up in the recommended. I'm watching him. I'm trying to honestly I watched him play around with that portal gun <laughs> probably more times than I'd like to admit but yeah I, I saw I listen I've done my hard yakka right I've seen my fair share of nine by nines I've done my time <laughs> and so it's, it's nice to see other people doing their time sadly I don't have something as rememberable and remarkable as a nine by nine base um <sighs> I think just if you've got a horrible roof, <laughs> then I feel for you because like, what is this? Uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the nice comments. Thank you to our donators and channel members. Thank you to Melizzy, Andre, and Final Phoenix 13. They are tier three channel members. Big chunk of money coming out of their monthly paycheck. <laughs> so thank you for that. Don't feel pressured to, once again, to maintain that stuff or, or become one. Um, the videos will happen regardless. It's just a matter of Energy, time, responsibilities. <laughs> but I, I do love this. So like, it's going to, 
I'll, I'll be making these videos pretty much until I can't for whatever reason. Or at least that's my plan. I don't know. Maybe I'll fall off one day. Um, so yeah. Hopefully I'll say, ah, yeah, the thumbnail and stuff for Greg Tech. You know what? We did do Greg Tech upgrades. It's going to be the problem with these episodes where you do a bunch of things is it's hard to not be a little bit misleading because we did Greg Tech upgrades. Like we've done high pressure Greg Tech. Maybe I'll call it because it's what we did. We did high pressure Greg Tech. The only problem is that it wasn't as crazy as it sounded, I guess. But once again, it's probably a good thing because, um, if you're like me and you've never played with Greg Tech, I didn't know whether this would be an insane upgrade. I'll be honest. I don't even remember what the previous thing was. Was the previous one slower than this? <laughs> or is it processing multiple at once? Like, I don't know what to make of it, but regardless, it's doing it. I guess. Ah, right. yeah, whatever. All right, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.